So there are two different sets of considerations. One is related to the cancer, the other is related to the cosmetic appearance of the breast. So we know that the likelihood of nipple involvement is greater as cancers are closer to the nipple and get larger. So the ideal candidate from a cancer point of view for a nipple sparing mastectomy is somebody who has a small peripheral cancer. Studies have also shown that cancers that overexpress HER2 are more likely to have nipple involvement, probably because those cancers oftentimes have a lot of associated DCIS. So if you have cancer directly underneath the nipple areolar complex, that patient is not a good candidate for nipple sparing. From a cosmetic point of view, the nipple needs to be in the right place on the reconstructed breasts. So women with larger or very totic breasts tend to be poor candidates for this approach. It's someone with an A, B cup whose breast is not down low where the nipple is going to be in the right place in whom it's appropriate. 